Hello, my friend. Welcome to Pirate King Studio. This is my channel. I'm Pirate King. Today, I want to share with you is that repair of this induction cooker. Uh, this is a induction cooker with insufficient heating power. In the general case, the part we want to check is the capacitor. But the location of the failure of this induction cooker is not where we expected. Which part is malfunctioning? And how did we fix it? Here we go. I got an induction cooker the other day. The problem which it is, hmm, mainly because the heating speed is too slow. The other part are actually not sure. We can do this first. I shall do a test to see what the problem of the induction cooker now. And then decide how to deal with this problem. At first, we turn on the power. Now turn on the power to maximum. The water is only lukewarm, not hard. It seems that the power output of the induction cooker is abnormal. Take it apart first. It's a bit dirty inside. Clean it out now. Detach the connection line between the boards. Remove the coil of the induction cooker. Oh my god, the bottom of the coil is full of cockroach eggs. Continue to disconnect the connecting wire and check the main components. This is a resident capacitor. We can find that its shell is obviously expanded and formed. So the capacity of the capacitor should be insufficient. Now remove it to check. Wow, its button is quick. Let's measure its capacity. 
It's incredible. It's turned out to be good. The other capacitor is also removed and measured. This capacitor was labeled 10 microfarad. So it is good. Now see if there is any problem with the motherboard. This variable resistor market 500 ohms, now measure 120,000 ohms. So the variable resistor should be broken. Remove it to confirm if there are any problems. This variable resistor has broken. I installed the new one. Just solder it directly. Solder the two capacitors back. This capacitor has high power, so the solder joints must be filled with tin. Now install the new resin capacitor. Then reinstall this circuit boards and connect the wires. Install the motherboard. Insert each connector. Install the coil. The current on this joint are very high. I use a sandpaper to remove the oxide from the joint. These two screws must be timed, otherwise the resistor will cause the high temperature.
make sure it is not short circuited before powering up. Two hundred twenty seven ohm should be no problem. After inserting the connector, assembly the main body. Ready to test after locking the screw. Everyone, our induction cooker is finally assembled. I just confirmed that its resistance value is within a safe range. Let's test and see the induction cooker original heat up abnormally. Has it returned to normal function? Turn on the power and then adjust the power to the maximum. Wow, the water temperature rises immediately. The water in the power has obviously boiled. Awesome, we succeed again. Tries will succeed. If you have no time to try, subscribing to Pyraking Studio can also improve your repair ability and creativity. Subscribe to share and like. See you next time.